Hi guys! So I know it's been forever since I've done a beauty video and I seriously apologize for that. I just don't know where the time has gone. I really haven't had time to sit down and just relax and do what I love to do which is make videos, especially tutorials. So for a while now I've been dying to do a tutorial with this beauty which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler Shadow Couture Palette. Anywho, let's look at this beauty right here. Gorgeous colors. So anyway, this is the look I created with those shadows and a little help from a ColourPop shadow, which you will see when you get right into the video. So hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and just keep watching. For starters, I'm gonna go in with this Mika Beauty Primer and this brush I got on the eBay set. And I'm just going to use that to distribute the primer on my eyelids evenly. It's a little bit more of a tougher primer. It's not as smooth, but I really love how it evens my skin tone out. So that's why I use it with this specific brush because it grabs it and it evenly distributes it. Next, going in with the Anastasia World Traveler Shadow Couture Palette, I am going to take my Sigma E40 and the color Soft Peach. And I'm going to blend this in the crease, but also sweep it across the lid. It's going to make sure that I have a nice clean base for all the other shadows. It's going to make it that much easier to blend the other shadows. Next, taking Morocco on the same brush, I am going to start off softly putting this in the crease, blending it in the witch needle wiper motions as I usually do. What you're going to want to do is build up. I say start off soft because you can build up the intensity without going too harsh in the crease with this color because it is a nice, beautiful, warm brick brown color. But if you um, don't blend it in correctly, it can look harsh. Now taking Azur and a, I'm using a Sonia Kashuk flat uh, concealer brush and I'm going to place this all over the lid. I do end up going in, which I didn't do on camera or in the shot, with a regular e.l.f. C brush and putting some more shadow. I used the concealer brush at first because I thought it'd apply it better, but it actually didn't really do too well. So that's why I went in with the e.l.f. shadow brush. Now taking the color Fudge, I'm going to use this with the Sigma 825 brush and I'm going to use this on the outer corners. I like this color because it's a nice dark warm brown. It blends nicely with the other color Morocco and also with the blue color. So it's kind of hard to find a buffer between the two, but Fudge does a pretty good job of doing that because it is a darker color. I'm going to go in with some more Morocco on the Sigma E40 brush and blend out that fudge color. And then I'm going to go back in with some more soft peach color as well to blend out Morocco. What I did off camera was put some powder on my powder underneath my eyes so that it catches any fallout I may have. I know this part um, I skipped, but I use Morocco and soft peach on the lower lash line. I was totally out of the shot, so I didn't put that in the video. The e.l.f. crease brush on the lower lash line just to blend it out really nicely. Going in with the Rimmel Scandalize in black. I'm going to use this on my waterline and I'm doing this messily because I'm just going to go right over it with the Azur color and it's going to go right on top of that black liner. Doing this makes the blue color look more intense. Do this with a pencil brush. I'm using a Sony Kashuk pencil brush and then I'm just using the e.l.f. crease brush to blend out the lower lash line just to make sure I don't have any harshness on the lower lash line. Then with my fingertips, I'm using the Azur color to pack it on, making sure it's evenly covered. Then going in with ColourPop Ibiza, I'm going to spotlight this, taking it with my finger and putting it right in the center of my lid. This is going to create so much more dimension than just the Azur color on the lid. And this makes the, it brings the whole look together in my opinion. Going in with the e.l.f. liquid liner and the CoverGirl Supersizer, I did this off camera, I lined my eyes and also put mascara on. Taking the pink champagne color, I'm going to use that with a Sony Cash pencil brush and place that on the inner corner. After that, I am done with this look. I hope you enjoyed it.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know that um, towards the end I always kind of leave out some parts. Uh, they're just so difficult for me to do on camera, but I will show you or tell you in the video what products I used uh, to finish up this look. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.